Here's a lesson on mass density. Mass density is a nice concept to get started with, especially when we're looking at units, unit conversion, and dimensional analysis, which is something that is a review. So we're going to look at converting units as well as using dimensional analysis to make sure that the units that we use in our calculations uh, result in our target units that were asked for in a problem statement. We're also working on problem solving skills, problem solving strategy development, reflecting on our answer for this lesson as well. The idea of mass density isn't too complicated. It's mass per unit volume, and you can see the equation there. Different substances have different density depending on the substance. It's an important characteristic of any substance, and it depends on the composition of the substance and the phase of the substance. I have put some different examples over to the side here, and you can see that there's some solids, there's some liquids, and there are also some gases down here. Okay, you can see that the solids in general are a little bit denser than the liquids or the gases. Uh, but cork here, notice that cork's pretty light. It's pretty, um, it's not as dense, right? There's a lot of porous material in cork, and so it's not as dense. Um, and we're going to notice the units on these, on the density here. Uh, density is measured as Greek letter rho. We symbolize it as Greek letter rho, and it's measured in SI is kilograms per meter cubed. And notice that there's 10 to the third. So, for instance, water would be 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. But more often in chemistry, for example, grams per milliliter is a preferred measurement. It's not SI, but it's the preferred measurement, and that is one gram per milliliter, and that's water. Ice is less dense than water. That's why it floats, right? We can um, bring that principle up. Ice, for instance, is about 915 or 923 kilograms per meter cubed. And we can see that things that have a lower density um, float above things that have a higher density. That's an important concept and idea for mass density. Um, Olive oil, you can see, would float on water and petrol. Those are um, oils, and they'll float. Air, we can see, is 1.29 times 10 to the negative third. Air isn't very dense at all, and we can see that with oxygen and even, even further with helium, right? Helium is what makes our balloons float, etc. We like using helium for that. 0.18 times 10 to the negative third. So there's a large scale difference between solids and gases. In our equation, notice that we're going to use mass and volume. That's M for mass and capital V for volume. Again, SI units are kilograms per meter cubed. Uh, I've seen some people use D for density, and that may be if you've had science in a previous academic setting, they often use D for density. We're not going to use that here. D is often re reserved for distances, displacement. Here is rho, which may be think, thought of as an upside down D, maybe. Um, and I write it as a P with a fancy little foot here. It's a little foot kicking off. So, or a tail, you could think of it as a tail. So that's the idea of mass density. Not too much here. We're going to remember our units. We're going to remember the different quantities that we have to use. The first practice problem I've chosen is blood plasma. The density of blood plasma is 1.03 grams per milliliter cubed. I'm going to note just off to the side here, I don't think we'll use it, but for your own context, a milliliter cubed is a centimeter cubed, right? So if you think about a centimeter cubed, that's one milliliter. A typical adult has about 2.2 liters of blood plasma, and I'm going to note that liters is a volume. Right? When you think about buying water, you get a liter bottle of water. What is the mass in pounds of this amount of blood plasma? The other thing I'm going to note is that if this is in liters, and this is in milliliters, and this is in grams, and they ask us for an answer in pounds. So we're going to have to do some unit conversion here. And what may be the best thing to do is to take our density and work with it first 
1.03 grams per milliliter cubed. If I could get that into maybe the target units of pounds per liter, when I go over to use the equation, and we can manipulate it here, density is mass per unit volume. I'm going to solve for mass here, so I'm going to get rho times V, right? If I multiply by V on both sides, I get mass cancels, or the mass remains the same, all right? And the volume cancels, and I get mass equals rho times V. So if I get rho in terms of pounds per liter, and then I multiply by V, which is in liters, I will be have my answer in pounds. So let's convert this to pounds real quick, and we'll need a couple of conversion factors. Here's a conversion factor. Let's see. Um, we know that there's a thousand milliliters in one liter. That's something we're going to have to deal with is milliliters to liters. And the other thing that we need is some information about the metric system to the British system, right? How many pounds we want to get to the British system. So I will write this down for us. One kilogram equals 2.204623 pounds. One kilogram is about 2.2 .2 pounds, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and use that, and I'll get this out of the way real quick so we can do a calculation here. Um, I'm in grams per milliliter. And remember, if I do the latter method, um, I want to get rid of milliliters, which means I'm going to put 1,000 milliliters on top and 1 liter on the bottom. That will cancel my milliliters and leave me with grams per liter. The next calculation or conversion I need to do here is to get from grams to pounds. So to get rid of grams in the numerator, I will put grams in the denominator. And I know co the conversion factor is there's a thousand grams in one kilogram. The last conversion I'll do here is on the kilograms. I need to convert one kilogram to 2.204623 pounds. Okay. You can go ahead and run this through your calculator, and you will get that uh, there are 2.271 pounds in one liter of blood plasma. Okay, so now we're ready to use this value, this quantity, over in the equation I have here. I'm trying to find mass. I know rho in pounds per liter, pounds per liter. I'm going to multiply by the volume. The volume is 2.2 liters. Note here, our dimensional analysis, the liters will cancel out, will reduce to unity, and I'm left with pounds. And overall, we will get that the mass is 4.9957 pounds. An example for density, mass density, is a methanol tank. It says, what is the radius of a 7 meter tall cylindrical tank that can hold 8.77 times 10 to the 7th kilograms of methanol whose density is 0.788 grams per centimeter cubed? Okay. Um, I'm going to note here that we're asked to find a radius. Notice we're finding a radius. And I'm just going to draw a cylinder here. And I'm going to mark in here that it has a radius. There's a radius. R, R is the radius. Uh, they also give us the height. H is the height. That equals 7 meters. And I'm going to note that on my diagram as well. So they filled this with methanol. They tell us that the density of methanol, rho, is 0 0.788 grams per centimeter cubed. I'm going to use the times 10 to the third factor and convert this to 788 kilograms per meter cubed. This will match with the meters that we're using for height and with the kilograms that was given for us to us for mass. Okay, I'm going to get out the equation for density equals mass per unit volume. And we're asked to find a radius, which re relates to the volume. I'm going to remember that the volume of a cylinder is pi times r squared times h. We're going to take the area of the base and then multiply it by the height. We're going to project it upward a distance h. So we have pi r squared is the area of the base projected upward 
a distance h. So I'm going to put that expression into my equation here so that I can see sort of where the radius is, pi r squared h. I'm going to solve this equation for radius. Radius equals, well, we'll do radius squared. You can do some algebra on this. Manipulate this algebraically. We'll get the mass over pi rho h equals r squared. If we square root both of those, then that will give us the r value. r is the square root of r, which is the square root of that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in everything I know about the mass, the density, h pi is also a constant. Uh, 8.77 times 10 to the 7th kilograms over pi which you can plug in at any point or you just use a button on your calculator. Rho we know is 788 kilograms per meter cubed and the H is 7. Overall we're going to square root that when we're done calculating that and we will get a radius of 2.25 meters. Okay. So this reviews geometries of solids. So we have uh, the cylindrical tape tank here. You had to remember that uh, V equals pi R squared H in conjunction with the mass density equation and put the volume in there. We were able to isolate for R and calculate it. You can do dimensional analysis over here just to make sure that we get the right units. Um, the mass was in kilograms. The density is in kilograms per meter cubed and the height is in meters and we also need to square root that term. So overall the kilograms will cancel, a factor of meters will cancel, and we get 1 over 1 over meters squared square root, which we can see is the square root of meters squared, which is meters and that is the units that we were looking for.